let's practice writing and drawing electron configurations. Today, our example will be element 11, sodium. So let's start out by writing the full electron configuration. Let's first recall that the left two columns of the periodic table represent the S subshell, and the right-hand side of the periodic table, which are typically nonmetals, represent the P subshell. And those are the only two subshells that we'll need to know for this electron configuration. So first, sodium. In the first row of the periodic table, we have 1s2. In the second row, we have 2s2 and 2p6. And then sodium is located in the third row of the periodic table, and it's the first atom. So we'll only have one electron, 3s1. Now, sometimes you're asked to write the noble gas configuration. And so this means you're condensing the form using the most recent or like the previous noble gas. So in our case, that would be neon. So we'd have neon in brackets, and then that gets rid of most of it. I'll underline what we don't need to write now. And then we just have to write 3s1. And that gives us our noble gas configuration for sodium. Now let's draw this out. We have our 1s, 2s, 2p, and 3s. So now let's draw this out. We have 1s2, 2s2. For 2p, we're going to fill each orbital separately and then go back and pair up our electrons. And then we have 3s1.